Hi, my name is Vishal Shah, Senior Director of Product Marketing for Automotive and Display Business Unit. And today we are showcasing here uh, our uh, 3DDI technology on an automotive central information display. This is an actual uh, Lucid Air uh, CID display showcasing Synaptics display and touch technology using our TDDI product line. So this, the, the, the uniqueness about this one is it can support 10 fingers uh, touch, uh, excellent display performance, and it's, it's all powered by Synaptics' touch and display driver technology called TD7800. And you can see the touch works in any, any way possible. Uh, user touches it, 10 fingers, one finger, a large finger, a very, very tiny finger uh, touch. It works under any noise conditions under moisture conditions, which is typical in, in any kind of touch and display uh, solution in the market. So, and Synaptics has been leader in this market for uh, display and touch. So, so this is this is this is using the, taking the getting the benefits of all the all the R and D that has gone behind uh, revolution of this technology. So, there's Synaptics. millions and millions of devices that have Synaptics touch technology. That's correct. Millions and millions of. Device in capacitive uh, touch and display integrated product, mobile devices, automotive devices, you name it. Synaptics has been in multi multiple multiple models. So capacity yeah. is pretty cool, right? It's yeah. it's no uh, the finger is you're, touching you're, the yeah. system. So there is this. It works as a capacitive capacitive plate coupling, right? So your your human body is one one plate of the capacitor. This is another place, another capacitance, and it, it detects the capacitance between human body and and the touch sensor to detect the detect the person touching the screen. So it knows that you are you are you connecting basically. Yes. You're yeah. making the connector work. Yeah, we are we are touching it, and then there is a change in capacitance, and which which then we process through our proprietary algorithm to see uh, that this is a valid human touch. And then, then we we process it and then report it back to the host, which then gets displayed on the screen. So, so all these capacitive touch screens in the world, they have a little chips, silicon in there, just to run the capacitive touch. That is it's always like this. That so so there are two aspects of capacitive touch. There is a discrete capacitive touch, uh, and there is a in cell capacitive touch. So this technology showcases in cell capacitive touch, where touch sensor has been integrated inside the display. Uh, inside the inside the display itself, which saves the cost and provides much thinner and brighter display as well, because now you don't have an additional sensing layer on top of it. So it provides excellent touch performance, cost savings, and brighter and beautiful displays. Because it's extremely important when people buy the beautiful EV that they want to have an amazing touch experience. It needs to be. Even better than everything else they've tried before. Exactly. Right? Yeah. That's the expectation. That's expectation. It, it's a, there, there are so many components in uh, around display and touch that there is so many noise sources also gets 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 influencing the touch sens uh, the touch sensor. So you want to make sure that you don't report uh, a noise that as a touch because that can create other issues on the automotive environment. So you want to make sure you only report a, a valid touch event to the to the uh, host system and then. Then, then do the necessary action based on the touch event. So that's where Synaptics is known for. It's excellent touch and display noise uh, uh, noise rejection and having a better SNR. And and that 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 enables multitude of experiences like glove, uh, very thick glove, where you, the car's being used in various environment, right? And then there are users who are, who in, in extremely cold area, somewhere in Siberia, people are still driving the car, having the gloves on, and they're trying to touch the touch screen. And it would be very frustrating for the user to, to have to remove uh, the glove and then to be able to touch screen to work, touch screen to work. And that's what Synaptics enables. Uh, seamless experience, touch experience, in any noisy conditions, even with thick glove, as thick as 10 millimeter glove. It's very important for safety also that you don't get problems with your touch That's screen. Right. Because that would frustrate people and they might crash. That's correct. It's yeah. really important. It is important. You don't want the noise to be this uh, to be regarded as a touch event and, and start something, let's say HVAC system. You don't want HVAC system to be turned on or a light to be turned on just because of the noise. So you want to reject the noise and actually just re report the t actual touch events, which is which is very, extremely important to get the highest in our ratio. Uh, so 
how how important is this algorithms? It sounds like a little bit the magic sauce and stuff like that, right? Exactly. Synaptics has been uh, 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 Synaptics is a pioneer in the touch uh, uh, capacitive touch. We invented capacitive touch and and pioneered the mobile market with our our touch performance. Even many flagship phones in the market uses Synaptics touch. So yeah, it's all all on how you actually process the touch, the secret sauce that enables these experiences. I've been doing videos about stuff that looked like smartphones five, six, seven years before iPhone came out and everything. Uh, but I think what really made the iPhone and smartphones great was capacitive, capacitive touch. touch. Correct. That's the main thing that happened. That's right? correct, yeah. It's and not all the other stuff, it's like uh, extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's a how you, the overall interaction with the phone, right? And now cars are becoming a, 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 a extremely large smartphones, right? There are a lot of smartness being added into the car, similar features that you had on your phone now becoming available in the car. So it becomes extremely important to have very, very high-end user experience and when it comes to touch and display, that's that's gets integrated, integrated into the car cockpit. And that's what we do with our TDDI solution. And on the screen here, it does talk about TDDI. I see the TDDI on the, on the, on the schematics here. And, and then, what are you talking about there? And then there is a TDDI here as well. So Synaptics has a TDDI. Synaptics has been a leader in TDDI. Uh, actually, the, one of the first uh, for companies to introduce TDDI for automotive market. And there are millions of cars on the road uh, today uh, that uses Synaptics TDDI technology. It essentially enables the display, uh, uh, displays to be driven in a touch and display time multiplexing, multiplexing fashion to have the touch sensor integrated into the display. And that's, that's also a uniqueness on how to drive it and not affect the display performance while giving the touch performance. And that's our, our, our differentiator. So Incel and TDDI is the same, same thing? So Incel is a type of a display and TDDI it's what enables that display and touch. So TDDI is a ch chip, uh, ASIC, that gets onto the, bonded onto the display. And, and the touch sensor, when we refer to in-cell, is a touch sensor that is part of the display cell. Hence, it's called in-cell. Uh, it's in-cell of the display. That's what in-cell refers to. And here, the display week, there's so many cool display companies, and everybody wants to touch and, and get a feel of how it feels to, to move move around, the UI is yeah. super optimized. It needs to be like hardware optimized UI, GPU accelerators and everything. The whole stack needs whole to be great. The whole stack needs to be great, right? And then everything requires touch. I mean, now it's hard to imagine any display. People, once they see the display, they want to touch it. And you want to make sure that touch is, it's, it's seamless, it's, it's robust without, without, without error conditions, right? And that's, that's where the touch, touch performance and touch, touch algorithms come into play. And are there competitors in this market or you just dominate completely in 100%? Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm also yeah. wondering is how do you always keep on the edge to bring out the next thing that people want in the touch industry? So, I, I mean, look, right? I mean, there is always competition in the market. People are trying to follow. Once they see something, uh, the market is big. So there are competitors in the market. But again, who does it better? That, that sets you apart, right? And uh, Synaptics has been inventor, pioneer of this technology. So we always add uh, new algorithms that, that provides a unique, a unique capabilities in extremely noisy environment. A glove, the glove was one of the examples I provided. So competitors are not. Then we have a feature called a knob. Now you can also place a, a mechanical knob without any electrical connection on anywhere on the screen. That's another uh, invention of Synaptics as well. That. Uh, before in, in before we enable that that use case, it used to require a tail of electrical FPC to be connected to be able to place knob on the display. Now you can place that knob, mechanical knob, anywhere on the screen using the same touch technology that we do for in-cell touch to be able to do knob on display as well. So that's how we we keep inventing new features, introducing new features that provides value to both end user and also our customers to stay ahead of the game. And I guess maybe it's, it's a UI question also, uh, because with the robot taxi, there's going to be m more people in the car wanting to touch the screen at the same time. Sure. It needs to be smart enough to know who's touching what, and w maybe it can even detect the size of the finger. That's this right. is dad. This is the kid, and they have different things happening. Yeah, and that, that's what that's what 
a great example as well, right? We are trying to, we, we are developing new features to detect when driver touches the screen, when passenger touches the screen to differentiate, because you don't want driver to be distracted by giving lot range of options that's not, that's not, that should not be uh, enabled for the driver to use because to avoid distractions. So by enabling driver detection, we can also do, uh, provide additional safety parameters where the range of menu, is, range of options available to passenger, which can, which, can, which can control the display, but driver has a limited capability to avoid distraction. That's an added safety feature as well.